Once Kyle Dubas was let go and Brendan Shanahan did his end of season press conference and said that he wanted experience at the helm of the Toronto Maple Leafs for the new general manager, everyone's mind went to Brad Treliving, former Calgary Flames general manager. And as of today, as of what, half an hour ago, the Leafs have officially named Brad Treliving their general manager. Uh, going into the draft, the offseason, and the most highly anticipated offseason in quite some time in Leafs Nation. And I don't want to say the most highly anticipated season, because let's be honest, it's year seven with the core. What makes it so special? What makes it so different? But either way, Brad Living is the newest Toronto Maple Leafs GM and takes over for Kyle Dubas. And there were quotes released today, and I'm going to read them all. Uh, this is from Brandon Shanahan. I'm very pleased to welcome Brad into the Maple Leafs organization. Brad brings a wealth of knowledge from his years of experience as a general manager and hockey executive in Calgary, Arizona, and beyond. He has earned tremendous respect amongst his peers throughout the years in the NHL and has built excellent relationships at all levels within the game. We are confident that Brad's leadership and strategic vision will elevate the Toronto Ma the Maple Leafs in our continued pursuit of a championship. Now this is Brad Treliving. I am very excited and honored to join the Toronto Maple Leafs as general manager. I would like to thank Brendan, MLSE, and its board for their support through the, throughout this process. I am thrilled to join an original six team and recognize how much the Maple Leafs mean to this community. This is a very exciting day for my family and I. So those are the quotes we have. I think there's going to be a press conference tomorrow uh, for the media to have a frenzy <laughs> with Brad Treliving. Um, I'm going to put it to you this way. And first off, before people go crazy, and I know people, a lot of people on Twitter, and I've already been seeing it already, are quite intelligent, or not in not intelligent, in the sense that they talked about how, well, you know, he let Matthew Tuchuk go, and he let Johnny Goudreau go. Uh, both guys didn't want to be there in Calgary. And I hate to say it to Flames fans, but it's not a huge market. Do they love their hockey there? There's no doubt about it, right? There's no doubt about it. However, two of your best players said, eh, we don't want to be here. And Pride for Living had no choice. The Johnny Goudreau thing, it was quite nasty and he ended up going to Chicago. Matthew Chuck basically asked to get traded. So he didn't have a choice. You got, you got John, everyone thought, you know, you got Jonathan Huberto who had a hundred and something odd points the year before. You got Mackenzie Weger. It, it looked like a really good trade on paper. Obviously it didn't pan out for, um, for Calgary and for Florida. They're in the cup finals right now. So it looks a little different, but you didn't have a choice. So I'm going to leave that right there and I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, I guess there. But in the end, it's all what he does here that matters to Leaf fans. I don't give a damn what he did in Arizona. I don't give a damn what he did in Calgary. It's about what you do for the Toronto Maple Leafs. For me. And I don't know what to expect. You know, a lot of talk is, you know, Kyle Dubas and, you know, Austin Matthews and guys like that have great relationships. And that. I'm like, you think about it, Leafs Nation. Of course they have great relationships. Right out of their entry levels, they're getting double-digit million-dollar contracts. And everyone's losing their minds saying, what is going on? And then after that, you see these other contracts getting signed at eight, seven, seven and a half, six, six at times. And we're all like, why do we have two guys at ten and a half plus? So, of course, they love Kyle Dubas, right? And he's a younger fella as well, so they can relate to, a lot, uh, relate to him a lot more. So, of course, they are. You give them the money, they're going to love you. But for Brad Treliving, a guy who's been around, as you know, Shanahan did, he got his guy with experience. What does this now mean for an Austin Matthews, a Mitch Marner, a William Nylander? Like, there's no personal connection anymore to these guys. Right? Kyle Dubas had been around forever. So, now he's gone. What does that mean for the Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner and Nylander side of it? And the Brad for a living side, you don't have any relationship with these kids. You know, how 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 much is he gonna be willing to dish out that huge, huge money? We shall see. It's all gonna be a wait and see game. That's really all I got. Like I don't want to sit down here and say, well, because Calgary did this, this, and this, 
he's a bad GM. I don't think Kyle Dubas is a bad general manager. I just think it ran its course here and it's time for a little change. So you bring in a, a veteran guy, Brad for living, who's been around hockey for, I don't know how long, so many years. I think I read on there, nine, 1996 in, w, in the WHL. So yeah, a long time. Um, I'm intrigued, but it doesn't change my vision very much. Until I see stuff getting done and how we all feel about what's getting done, then we'll have a little chit chat. If, if Austin Matthews goes into next year without a contract, come back to me. If Nylander goes into next year, either not a leaf or no contract, come back to me. So it's going to be interesting to see how this whole thing plays out. But this video is not for me to break down his past records, accolades, what he's done here, what he's done there. No, because let's be honest, Mike Babcock had a really good resume and look what happened here. So I, it doesn't bother me too much. Question I have now is, with Brad Trill living here, what does that mean for Sheldon Keefe? Right? I talked about it in, that, uh, in the Kyle Dubas firing video. I'm like, okay, well... Usually, new GMs like to have their guy or their coach. We've already seen Carberry go to the Capitals, so there's one of the coaching staff gone. Does Sheldon Keefe get, you know, let go? And does Brad for Living bring in his guys to coach this team? We shall see. But this is the, we, we knew the Dubas thing was the first domino to fall. They've now filled in that spot with Brad for Living. So what's the next one to fall? Is it Sheldon Keefe? Is it more of the assistant coaches? What is it? Or nothing? Or does Sheldon Keefe stay around and then we go into the draft with this same management team and just added Brad for living it? We'll, we'll see. We shall see. All right, Leafs Nation. So I want to get your thoughts in the comments below about what you think about Brad Tree living being the new general manager of the Toronto Maple Leafs. I am waiting to put my opinion on it. Um, initially, sure, guy with experience, guy's been around, done that. Um, won't be as emotional as Kyle Dubas at doing things. Um, but what does that mean for this core? That's the question mark moving forward. All right. So you, let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. Hit that like button. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button. If you guys have not already, uh, hit, comment down below your thoughts on the Brad for living stuff. What do you think that means for Sheldon Keefe, the, the core four of the Toronto Maple Leafs and the future of what this Leaf team is going to look like moving forward. I think we can all agree with now Brad for living coming in and no more Kyle Dubas. I think Michael Bunting is kind of gone, uh, just just because it's the new GM and the way the season ended for him and he just kind of looked ugly and now you're bringing a new guy, it might not happen. Look, it probably won't happen. Cap-wise, it just doesn't seem that way. Anyways, does Ryan O'Reilly come back? I don't know. Lots of question marks moving forward and it's all up to Brad Trilliving to figure it all out, all right? So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will talk to you guys, uh, well, hold on. Discord, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff is down below. And I will talk to you guys, Jay's edition tonight, game two of the three game set as they host the Milwaukee Brewers. Alec Manoa, Julio Tehran is the pitching matchup there at 7.07 at Rogers Center. And as for the Leafs, I'll talk to you guys at some point in time. Maybe the next time will be Sheldon Keefe firing or nothing. Maybe it'll be the draft. I don't know. But thank you guys so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and are intrigued about Brad for living. We'll talk to you guys then.